Donald Trump was away from the White House this weekend, so it was pretty much like every other weekend since he became the president. <laughs> Uh, but this time, he was on his first international trip, visiting several countries in the Middle East. His first stop was Saudi Arabia. Uh, Trump is visiting the Muslim nations as part of his Don't Come To Us, We'll Come To You tour. <laughs> Trump spent over a year... He spent over a year just trash-talking Muslims. Now he's got to go and visit them, which is a bit like when you badmouth your friend's ex and then they get back together. <laughs> and you're like, yay! <laughs> Uh, while Trump was in Saudi Arabia, he participated in a traditional all-male sword dance. Uh, yes, we have the video. Take a look. <laughs> a giant all-male group swinging swords isn't a great dance, but it is a great metaphor for the Trump administration. Uh, now... Now we know why he's changed his tune about Islam. He got there, they all pulled out swords, and he was like, I love Islam! It's the <laughs> greatest religion in the world! Uh, Trump's next stop on the tour was Israel, where he greeted the President of Israel by saying this. Listen carefully. Rex, uh, Secretary of State, has uh, done an incredible job. We just got back from the Middle East. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Only problem is he's in Israel, and Israel is in the Middle East. <laughs> That would be like me coming out here, going, great to be here in Los Angeles. I just got back from California. <laughs> now, if you think that flub was embarrassing, you're not alone. Take a look at the guy on the far right. We just got back from the Middle East. is all of us every day. <laughs> now, while in Israel, Trump visited a sacred historical site, the Western Wall. Uh, Trump wasn't praying at the wall, he was shopping. <laughs> so, oh, this is, this is beautiful stone. Beautiful stone. How, <laughs> how much would 2,000 miles of this wall cost? <laughs> now, this morning, Trump followed the tradition of placing a small prayer inside the wall. We've got a picture of him here. There he is there. And tonight, you guessed it, his arm is still stuck in that wall. <laughs> uh, now, we had to show you this. While getting off the plane in Israel, Donald Trump reached for his wife's hand and Melania was not having any of it. Watch closely here. Looks like someone's sleeping on the Air Force One couch tonight. <laughs> when they saw that, even the Israelis and the Palestinians were like, wow, those two do not get along. <laughs> uh, but the thing everybody is talking about from this Middle East trip is a weird photo Trump posed for with the leaders of Egypt and Saudi Arabia, where they all placed their hands on this strange glowing globe. Uh, this is a real photo. <laughs> Take a look. I mean... <laughs> Is that an international summit or the Legion of Doom? <laughs> Things got even weirder when Trump kept picking it up and asking it questions like a magic eight ball. <laughs> He's like, how much longer will I be in office? <laughs> Damn it. Uh, but, you know, it, even though this photo seems weird, and it is, look at the bright side. It's just nice to see Trump grabbing some balls for a change. <laughs>